Hey Bears fans, we're going to take a look at some winners and losers from the preseason opener against the Miami Dolphins. But first, get subscribed. We're going to continue to plug out videos every single day. Tons of you guys join me for the watch party. I appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed yet, this is the time to do so because we cover the latest news, rumors, and a whole lot more. Week one is almost here, and I cannot wait for some Bears football this season. YouTube.com slash Bears now. That is the link to share with your buddies. Uh, but if you're watching, which you are, just hit that red subscribe button coming up winners and losers on today's show welcome into chicago bears now i'm your host as always harrison graham you can find me on twitter at hgram nfl let's take a look at some preseason winners and losers following the 20 to 13 win over the dolphins on saturday afternoon we'll go winners first three of each uh, Justin Fields. I mean, come on. Like, uh, we all know who the biggest preseason winner was, and uh, that's Justin Fields, who had a bit of a slow start, had a sloppy fumble that he did recover early on, but uh, once he got going, he was very, very impressive. I thought he stood out. The full skill set was on display. The mobility, the pocket awareness, the arm strength, the decision making. He really displayed it all against the Miami Dolphins on Saturday. His final numbers, 14 of 20, 142 yards, two total touchdowns, one passing, one rushing, no turnovers, and 33 rush yards. He was impressive. He was solid. Played for about, I don't know, what did he play about? Two quarters or so. He played the second and third quarter mostly. Uh, so he played quite a bit, and I thought he played pretty darn well overall. I gave him a B plus ish grade on our instant reaction video that went out yesterday. Uh, that's why you should subscribe. Go check that out. But uh, hey, Justin Fields is a big winner. He's coming for that starting job. I'm excited to see uh, how he continues to progress. He was an obvious winner for the Bears against the Dolphins. Speaking of which, who will be the week one starting quarterback? Type AD for Andy Dalton, type JF for Justin Fields. I still think Dalton's a starter for now, but Fields is closing that gap quickly. We will make this the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get hit with a YouTube ad break, scroll on down and answer this question, AD or JF. So Justin Fields, our first preseason winner. Let's go to our second one. How about Jesse James, the tight end, uh, who's done pretty well in camp and uh, caught the touchdown from Justin Fields. Uh, had a couple of catches, 38 yards and one TD. Certainly nothing crazy, and he was obviously wide open on a broken coverage from the Dolphins. But him and Fields have had good rapport during training camp, so to see that translate into the uh, first preseason game, I thought that was pretty solid, and it confirms what I've been saying since they signed Jesse James. He's making this football team. He will make this team at the tight end position. You've got him. You've got Cole Komet. You've got J uh, Jimmy Graham as well. I think those will be uh, your top three tight ends. We'll see if Chicago carries a fourth tight end, but I'm pretty confident that Jesse James will make this 53-man roster. Thought he did some good things in the preseason opener. Hey, if you want to go bet on uh, the Bears throughout the preseason and on into the regular season, there's only one place to do it. That is chatsports.com slash Bears. That'll redirect you to the BetUS site when you use our link you can use our promo code bear down to get a 125 percent deposit bonus we already have week one betting odds for the regular season uh the bears are seven point underdogs against the rams i like that point spread for the bears i think they can cover the total over under is set at 45 chatsports.com slash bears make some money all season long get that 125 percent deposit bonus at with promo code bear down that is all one word bear down make some money chatsports.com slash bears one more preseason winner after Justin Fields and Jesse James. That is Alec Ogletree, the veteran linebacker who signed on about, I don't know, 10, 12 days ago at this point, has had a strong camp, a ton of interceptions in practice. And I thought that translated pretty well to the, uh, the, uh, the, the game field on Saturday. Didn't have any picks, got beat once on a deep crosser from a tight end, a perfect throw from Tua, but... He was heavily involved in the run game, four tackles, had a TFL, did pe uh, break up one pass, uh, which I thought was pretty solid. Like Jesse James, I feel like he's got a pretty good shot of making this roster as well. He has taken advantage of his opportunities early on here, and I thought uh, overall he played pretty darn well against the Miami Dolphins. Will Alec Ogletree make the Bears roster? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I think he's trending in that direction. I think he's got a good chance to be the number three linebacker on this team. 
Get your votes in in the comments. Will Alec Ogletree make the roster? We do have some honorable mentions for winners. These are some other guys that I thought did well. Rodney Adams I thought pre played pretty well for the Bears. Khalil Herbert, the rookie running back. DeAndre Houston Carson, the safety. He picked off Tua in the end zone, had a couple of tackles. He was rock solid. Caleb Johnson made some uh, plays in the second half. He really flashed. He's trying to fight for a roster spot. And then rookie UDFA Charles Snowden had a sack, had a TFL, uh, was playing mostly against the third team offense offense for Miami, but hey, if he continues to show out, he'll have a chance to make this 53-man roster. So who do you think was the biggest preseason winner against the Dolphins? It's okay if you type Justin Fields, because we're all excited. He played pretty well. I think he's a big preseason winner. Uh, let me know which Bears player was the biggest preseason winner on Saturday. All right, some preseason losers, and Andy Dalton, and there, there's always context with these things. This isn't to say that Andy Dalton played bad or that he struggled. He only attempted four passes and completed two. Uh, it's not like he was bad. It more goes back to how good Fields was. Like, he's coming. He's not messing around. Like, he wants to be the starting quarterback for the Bears now. Like, he doesn't want to wait until week seven. He wants to start week one. Uh, so if you're Andy Dalton, you really have to prove that you are a, a worthy starting quarterback at this point. And he did nothing to derail him as the starter, but he didn't really do anything to say, yeah, this guy's in total command of what the Bears are doing offensively. Look, he's playing with an offensive line that's patchwork right now. A lot of the starters didn't really play. I get all of that stuff, but... With the excitement around Justin Fields, the energy, it just feels different. If I'm Andy Dalton, I'm really uh, focusing in on playing much better in the second preseason game. Hopefully he'll get more opportunities as well. He only got to throw the ball four times. A couple more Bears losers to get to, but first, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to us here at youtube.com slash bears. Now you guys' support has been amazing. We crossed 30,000 subscribers during our watch party on Saturday. Let's keep the train moving. I'm trying to get to 50K subs by the end of the year. It's a lofty goal, but it's one that I think is possible. YouTube.com slash Bears now. We will continue to bring you daily videos here on the Chicago Bears. All right, so Andy Dalton, my first loser again. Some context there. Uh, let's go to the next one. John V. Johnson, who has had a good camp since coming on board. Him and Justin Fields have been on the same page uh, in, in a lot of regards, but uh, he just didn't do much. And the one time he touched the ball, he muffed a punt. So his stat line is a muffed punt and zero targets. That's not ideal. I mean, you know, guys like that who it's already an uphill battle to make the team or even the practice squad, you got to show out in these games. And he did basically nothing. He tried to catch a punt on the dead run moving backwards, which he should have just let it go into the end zone. But not only did he not do that, he dropped the punt. Sure, he recovered it and barely got out, avoiding a safety, but he left a lot to be desired. And you look at this wide receiver group, a lot of competition, man. Like, it is going to take a massive, massive uh, effort for him to make this team or even the practice squad. He's really got to pick it up in the next two preseason games, especially when a guy like Rodney Adams played as well as he did. So Andy Dalton, John V. Johnson, two losers against the Dolphins. Uh, how about the Bears' offensive line as a whole? I'm not going to say it was a disaster, but it was pretty clear that this is a group that could struggle, especially if there's injuries early on. The Bears could not run the football uh, outside of uh, Justin Fields scrambling, obviously. He made some nice uh, plays with his feet, but uh, there's a reason you go out and sign Jason Peters because Tevin Jenkins is out. Jermaine Ifedi is out. James Daniels is hurt. And a guy like Elijah Wilkinson just isn't that good. This group needs to get healthy. I think the starting five – can be solid if it's fully healthy. But if it's not healthy, the depth is not good. It's not very good whatsoever. Larry Borum didn't play in the preseason opener. He's he's a rookie, so you don't want to throw a lot on his plate either. Uh, we'll see what Jason Peters brings to the, t to the table at 39 years old. Uh, didn't have any penalties last year, but he did give up eight sacks. I mean, he's 39. The guy's old, uh, albeit he will likely head to the Hall of Fame one day. I like the move, but it tells me that the Bears don't feel great about where things are with their offensive line, and especially with Tevin Jenkins. Uh, this could be a sign that he may not be ready by week one. We'll have to wait and see. Do you like the Peters signing? Type Y for yes, type N for no. I like it overall. I'm fine with it. Uh, you know, there's probably a couple other guys like a Russell Okung who I would have rather signed, but uh, I think this is a decent move overall for the Bears. They needed depth. They needed a guy who could play, and Jason Peters certainly fills uh, both of those uh, roles right there. Some honorable mentions on the loser side of things. Yeah, dishonorable mentions. Uh, there you go, Producer Jeremy. Uh, Javon Wims. 
Look, I mean, he's just not it, guys. Brutal false start to, to kill a drive on Justin Fields' first drive. Uh, zero catches, just, you know, he gets open in practice a lot, but he drops balls and he just he does stupid stuff like false starts. Nick Foles, look, he's playing with the third string, fourth string guys, but – he just looks even slower this year. He's just not that great at this point, and it's going to be hard to trade him, which is a bummer. Jordan Lucas muffed a punt. Looked like a guy who hadn't played in a year because he sat out last season uh, due to COVID, which uh, uh, not, nothing super surprising, but he also had a dumb special teams decision when he brought out a kickoff nine yards deep in the end zone. I thought he tried to do too much, uh, so I thought he was a little sloppy, maybe a little too anxious in his first game in well over a year. So here we go. Before we sign off, biggest preseason loser against the Dolphins for the Bears. All in all, it was an impressive first game. Shout out Justin Fields. Good for him to perform well. Let me know. Biggest loser against the Dolphins, and we'll see you soon here on the channel.